Hi friends, welcome to the Commoner series. In this session, we are going to see the evolution of 1G to 4G technology and also about the 5G technology. Initially, when 2G came, the cost of internet services as well as voice calls was very high, as you would have known. But now, when 4G has come, the cost has been drastically reduced. So, with the advent of technology, the price has been drastically reduced. So, have you ever wondered why? This is because in the early stages of spectrum allocations, there were only few players. But nowadays, there are multiple players for telecom bidding. This has led to increase in competition, thereby leading to reduction of prices. Also, initially, when 2G entered into the market, it encompassed a larger infrastructure cost, which laid a groundwork for upcoming telecommunication services like 3G and 4G, thereby reducing the cost. Now, let's see the step-by-step -step evolution of 1G to 4G. So, basically, G refers to generation. 1G was basically a network with only voice-centric services. This extended from an era from 1970s to 1980s. Later came 2G with both voice capabilities as well as short messaging services. During 1980s to 2000, quite few advancements were made in 2G technology itself. It included mobile internet, low-speed streaming services as well as email services. The speed of 2G was around 20 to 30 kilobit per second. In later 2000, 3G came with a faster networking technology. It enabled web browsing, video chatting and downloading apps in a much more faster and a user-friendly way. Nowadays, 4G technology is in place with a data transfer rate of 100 kbps per second and it is referred to as long-term evolution. The technological hurdles which were in 3G like frequent buffering while watching videos, frequent disconnection while video chatting were all overcame by the 4G technology. Also, 4G came with better video quality as well as video clarity. Now, what is 5G technology and how it differs from other telecommunication technologies? According to International Telecommunication Network, it sets a standard for 5G technology. According to it, it says that the uplink data for 5G technology should be 10 gigabit per second and downlink data it should be 20 gigabit per second. So when compared to 4G, it is around 900 percent faster. So now let's see the benefits of 5G technology. 5G provides a higher level of performance than previous generation of mobile communication networks. Primary use of 5G technology will extend beyond delivery of services on mobile cellular communication. It is expected to form backbone of emerging new technologies like Internet of Things, machine-to-machine -machine communication, driverless automated vehicles, smart healthcare technologies, etc. It can also be used to support telesurgery, real-time data analytics and other smart massive applications. The reason it can support wide range of applications is ability for its lower latency. This ultra low latency provided by the 5G technology makes these applications possible. Here latency refers to the time data travels between the source and the destination. Here it happens faster than the blink of an eye. So now we know that 5G just won't connect our phones or PCs but it will also help in connecting massive smart applications. Now, your main question arises whether 5G is a technologically disruptive communication network. A government panel on 5G technology released a report saying that 5G can be used even on mobile networks that uses 3G and 4G technologies. So, earlier technologies will continue to remain in use and it will take around 10 years to phase them out completely. Now let's see about the issues surrounding 5G technologies. Many 5G networks will operate in a frequency called millimeter wave frequency. So it travels in high speed because of this it has the ability only to travel in short distances and it is subjected to interference from obstacles like trees, buildings etc. Thereby, it is necessary for us to install as many as infrastructure like small mobile towers, antennas, etc. Therefore, deploying 
a large number of infrastructure in a quick span of time becomes a very difficult task. Next is deployment and coverage. Because of 5G's limited scope, only few users can access a single 5G tower. Also, like 4G old technology, spreading out 5G technology to rural areas will also be a tenuous task. On the other hand, a wireless internet connection through 5G technology is also possible. In future, Wi-Fi and modems can be replaced by using small 5G cells in our homes or business thereby bringing 5G connections directly into our homes. Next coming to the cost of 5G, it incurs a higher initial infrastructure cost. According to government panel, 5G technology is expected to incur $1 trillion within the year 2035. Additionally, global telecom industry GSMA has reported that India will have 70 million 5G connection within the year 2025. Currently, South Korea and USA have commercially launched 5G technology. Evolution of any new technology may pose health concerns. Likewise, in 5G infrastructure, we are planning to create several cell towers and antennas which has created a health concern among uh, the population. 5G technology involves creation of new infrastructures like cell towers and antennas. This creates concern regarding emission of radiations. The world of mobile wireless technology has been rapidly developing, especially with regards to 5G technology. The world is trying to become completely wireless with uninterrupted access to information anytime and anywhere with increased speed, bandwidth, reduction in cost. Thank you.